four World Cup titles, world champion in 2006. Italy has been a powerhouse for years, but they look in shambles and didn't even qualify for the World Cup. What the hell happened to Italy? It was a cold and silent November night at San Siro. Italy failed to score against a Zlatanless Sweden. They were out of the 2018 Russia World Cup. A tragedy. The first time in 60 years that the Italians didn't progress to the final round, and only the second time in their history. When Italy needed goals the most, their coach, Ventura, wanted to put De Rossi in, a defensive midfielder. Why the f would I go in? We don't have to draw. We have to win. The entire world saw De Rossi challenge his coach and urge him to send Insignia on. What are the reasons behind the collapse of this football empire? Number one, poor management. Fabio Capello, Carlo Ancelotti, Arrigo Sacchi. They've won it all. Italy's greatest contribution to football has been their tactical minds. Their cagey defenses and high-pressing styles have conquered the world. When Conte stepped down as Italy's manager in 2016, Italians were shocked to know that his replacement would be Gian Piero Ventura? An unknown lower league coach for over 40 years whose biggest honor has been winning a Serie C title. 2. The Generation Gap Italy won the 2006 World Cup with legends like Tati, Canavero, Pirlo, and Del Piero. Italy failed to qualify to the 2018 World Cup with players like Darmian, Gabbiadini, and Parolo. In the 2010 World Cup, they ended last in their group, paired against Paraguay, Slovakia, and New Zealand. Then in 2014, they missed out on the round of 16 again, finishing behind Costa Rica and Uruguay. The Azzurri just couldn't replace their biggest players from the past decade. Several young promises never reached their full potential, like Antonio Cassano or Mario Balotelli. Others were overrated to begin with, like Alessio Cerci. Number 3. The State of Serie A The 2006 World Cup win coincided with the biggest scandal in Italian football. Calcio Pali. Match fixing was proven and Juventus got relegated to Serie B. Their titles taken away and given to Inter. In the following years, Serie A's reputation diminished and their stars started to flee. And once Juve got back to the top, they've monopolized the league. Most of the teams bet on foreign players and their youths take the hits. There hasn't been an Italian Champions League winner since Mourinho's Inter in 2010. Can Italian football go back to what it was? Yes, it can. Since the 2018 debacle, the FA president resigned, along with the national team coach. In its place, Italy has appointed Roberto Mancini, the man that conquered the Premier League with Manchester City. A coach who recognizes talent and knows how to handle big egos. The perfect man for the job. Since arriving, he's cleaned up the squad. The new caller-ups include Tonale, Cutrone, Zaniolo, Barella, and Moise Keane. And the future looks brighter for Italy. The under-20 team reached the semifinals of the latest World Cup, losing to eventual champions Ukraine. With a new generation of players and the right manager, can the Azzurri find their way back to the top of international football? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.